I, I said the two people celebrating the death of General Soleimani are ISIS and President Trump. They have, they have to say, where are they standing? The United States, we knew where Daesh was standing. Now we know where President Trump is standing. Somebody has to clarify. I hope Daesh at least says that I'm not following President Trump. I think the war against Daesh just suffered a major setback. And Daesh just won a major victory. Now, Daesh is closer to you and to us than we all hope or wish. Daesh is in Afghanistan, not only as splinter groups, but with territory. And they started occupying the same territory from which Taliban started. Now, I think, I think we need to recreate the coalition against Daesh. Because the current coalition against Daesh used the basis of the coalition to kill the most effective anti-Daesh general. So we need a new coalition. Uh, I think uh, the developments over the past uh, few weeks are very sad uh, reflections of a very serious problem in the United States thinking about our region. Uh, first of all, they look at everything from their own perspective, not from the perspective of the people in this region. Uh, when they assassinated uh, a revered general uh, in, in Iraq, violating, they thought, as Secretary Pompeo tweeted, that people would be dancing in the streets of Tehran and Baghdad. Actually, he picked up a small uh, gathering of, of a few and tweeted that we rid the region of a uh, whatever he want to call him and then uh, people are dancing. That showed two things which are very dangerous and when combined it becomes even more dangerous. Ignorance and arrogance. And when you become an arrogant ignorant or an ignorant arrogant it becomes a disaster particularly if you have a lot of power.